points, or perhaps you are Australian yourself and you can confirm them, then let us know in the comments section below. We love reading your comments. So, starting off with number 10, its population density. Although its major cities like Sydney, Melbourne and Brisbane may be rather densely populated, Australia as a whole is one of the least densely populated countries on Earth. I think we can all agree this is a positive thing, as who would want to live in a crowded, congested place? Australia has roughly 3.3 people per kilometre squared, making it the sixth most sparsely populated country on Earth. Western Australia is even lower, at just 2.5 people per kilometre squared. Perth, the main city of Western Australia, is one of, if not the most isolated city in the world. The nearest city with a population of over 100,000 is Adelaide, over 2,100 kilometres away. Number 9. The Lifestyle The Australian lifestyle favours the enjoyment of free time with family, friends, sports and contact with nature. Work is a fundamental value of society but must be accompanied by the necessary time for rest and recreational activities. The majority of Australia experiences fantastic weather year-round, meaning that barbecues, outdoor socialising and swims in the sea are a part of everyday life. Try doing that in the UK in the middle of January. You will end up with hypothermia. Number 8. High minimum wage and great salaries. Nowhere else in the world would you get such a high minimum wage. When you compare the minimum wage of Australians to any other country, you would find that the pay rate is more than $10 higher than the competitor countries. This includes large countries like the UK, the US, France and any other country in between. Jobs that pay quite decently in the UK are usually super highly paid in Australia, especially jobs in construction and finance. Number seven, high health score. Australia is one of the world's healthiest countries for several different reasons. Australia offers its people one of the world's best healthcare systems. It has one of the lowest infant mortality scores and a high life expectancy. Smoking is low in Australia too, with a continuously declining number of smokers. The vitamin D that they get from the sunshine surely must be a factor too. Being outside, being active and healthy in the sun, it's a lot better for your mental and physical health than staying indoors in the freezing cold dark nights like we have in the winter in the UK. Number six, the beaches. Where else in the world can you go to a new beach every day and it will take you 27 years if you want to accomplish that? Well, that's Australia for you. There's so many beaches, it would take you 27 years to visit every beach if you visited one every single day. What is more, an Aussie beach is hard to beat, from the magnificent city beaches to the pumping surf of the unspoiled wild and natural beaches. Every beach is a contender to be better than any other beach in the rest of the world. Number five, major attractions. It is impossible to live in Australia and wonder where you could go for your next vacation because there's so many choices. This country certainly has it all, from Sydney to Melbourne, to the Great Barrier Reef, to the Giant Lake, the majestic outback and the unblemished beauty of the Northern Territory. You will love Australia. Australia has something for everyone. Number four, it has every type of climate and terrain. From mountains to beaches to rainforests to deserts, quite similar to the USA, Australia is so big it has every type of climate and terrain there is to offer. There is no need to leave your country if your country offers everything the world has to offer. For example, in the UK, we do have beaches and forests, but we certainly do not have those tropical beaches that Australia offers. Number three, the people. In my opinion, Aussies are friendlier than most other citizens from around the world. Sometimes even too friendly. Some say it's the weather, others say it's the carefree attitude. The Aussie motto is, she'll be right, which means don't stress, it's all good. In Australia, you're someone's mate until proven otherwise. This includes your boss as well as that annoying next door neighbor. You'll be amazed by the welcoming and laid back nature of the natives. Aussies and Brits are like two brothers. They do argue and they fall out sometimes, but deep down, we really do like each other. Number two, Tasmania has the world's cleanest air. The northwestern tip of Tasmania on the Cape Grim Peninsula is where you'll find the cleanest air in the world. This is because the air is cleaned while it travels for thousands of kilometres over the ocean before arriving at the Tasmanian coast. 
Heck, it's so good, they even sell cans and bottles of air to other countries who have polluted air. And finally, number one, wildlife. Australia hosts a high biodiversity compared to other regions in the world. It has very unique wildlife such as kangaroos, koalas, quokkas and many more native animals and plants are waiting for you. The squirrels in London's Hyde Park are adorable, but would you miss the opportunity to meet kangaroos, hug a koala or take a quokka selfie on Rottnest Island off the coast of Perth? Yes, Australia is home to deadly creepy crawlies and snakes, but they are extremely rare in urban areas. So there we have it, 10 reasons why we think Australia is the best country in the world. Of course, just like any other country in the world, it's not perfect, it does have some drawbacks. But we believe that Australia ranks highly in so many different areas. Thank you so much for watching, have a great week, and we'll see you soon. And of course, remember to like and subscribe if you want to see more. We've got plenty more to come. Thanks so much again, and we'll...